Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is Wednesday, October 9th, 2024. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Aiden Forbes. And I'm Parker Eber. We start today with an announcement from Mr. Patterson. Good morning, Mr. Patterson. Good morning, students. Today, we're asking for your input on something that directly impacts you, our school schedule. Your feedback is essential in helping us shape a schedule that best meets your needs. To explain more about this initiative, here's a message from our Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum, Instruction, and Assessment, Dr. Bolton. My name is Matt Bolton, and I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum, Instruction, and Assessment for the Westfield Public Schools. Over the past year and a half, as part of our district's strategic planning, students, parents, and educators have expressed a desire to explore different school schedules at our intermediate and high schools. The goal is to foster deeper, more hands-on learning while offering more flexibility than our current schedule, where students and teachers experience every class at the same time each day. As a result, one of the key objectives in goal one of our strategic plan is to explore school structures that support best practices in teaching and learning and promote innovative uses of time. Over the past year, committees of teachers and administrators from the high school and intermediate schools have researched best practices in school scheduling, defined our values around time use during the school day, and developed models for potential new schedules. Now, as we work on constructing these new schedule models, we need your feedback. We invite students and parents to participate in this thought exchange to share your thoughts on our current schedule and the possibility of a new one. Your input is crucial in shaping a schedule that best serves our students. Please take a moment to participate and share your views. Thank you for your time and involvement. Thank you, Dr. Bolton. Now, we invite you to share your thoughts by participating in the survey. You can do this in two ways. Scan a QR code, which will be posted in the cafeteria hallway and around the building, or access the survey through the link that your science teachers will post in their Google Classrooms. We ask that you complete this survey by Friday morning. Please remember, the survey is completely optional, but we really appreciate your thoughtful responses because your voice matters. Thank you, WHS, and have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. All transition leaders and ninth graders, Transition Outreach 3 will take place on Friday. Please report to your group's location as posted on Google Classroom. Boys basketball sign-up meeting will be on October 17th at 7.30 p.m. and will be done so virtually. You must be a member of the team's Google Classroom to attend. If you need the Google Classroom code, you must see Coach McKeon as soon as possible. The next No Place for Hate meeting will take place tomorrow, immediately after school in the library. This meeting is for any members interested in planning the annual pledge signing event. Any questions, please see Ms. Legan or Ms. Spring. Come join Folio's first coffee house of the school year this Friday, October 11th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The Halloween coffee house will be having live singing and poetry performances from students of all grades throughout the school. Food and drinks will be available, $5 at the door, and wear a costume. Pal Mentoring Tutoring is canceled today. There will not be pizza. The Architectural Innovation Club will be meeting tomorrow in room 140. If you've not already, you can join the Google Classroom with code Y5ZDRY2. The varsity jacket fitting is today from 6 to 8 p.m. at Keller Stadium in the weight room. Did you know having your first menstrual period before the age of 12 or starting menopause after age 55 increases your risk for breast cancer? Next Monday, October 14th, Join the girls' vo volleyball program as they raise money for Pathways, a local organization which helps women with breast cancer by providing meals, exercise plans, payment for medical bills, etc. There will be three exciting games against Union Catholic, accompanied by raffle baskets, food, and more. Admission is free for anyone wearing a 2024 pink out shirt. Shirts will be sold in Cafeteria B during all lunch periods for $15. Now time for sports with Dylan Sauce. 
Good morning, Westwood High School. My name is Dylan Sons, and here's your BDTV Sports Update. Yesterday, every team in action took home a win, starting with girls tennis, who won their NJSIA quarterfinal matchup against Kearney 5 to nothing. Field hockey had a dominant win over Newark Academy 6 to nothing behind Marin Restivo's hat trick. Girls soccer had a huge overtime win over Old Bridge 2 to 1, with Emily Cadigan scoring the first goal and Andy Genota scoring the OT game winner. And lastly, boys soccer also had a huge overtime win, upsetting number five in the state, SBF. Senior Henry Iannuzzi scored the golden goal in the 88th minute to win it for the Blue Devils. After a wild day yesterday, no teams will be in action today. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you, Aiden and Parker. That's all for today. Please scan the QR code and take the schedule survey. If you'd like to submit an announcement to be read, visit the PDTV page on the high school website or at whsbdtv.org. Follow us on Instagram at whsbdtv. Have a great day, WHS.